New at 10 tonight, Blakely Burrow is looking to enrich the area and repurpose the former Mid Valley Hospital building and turn it into a community center. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with the borough manager and is live tonight with more on this. Alicia. Aaron, the Blakely Borough are hoping to turn this community center into to feature a gymnasium and a civic center. Borough manager Christopher Payone has been given the green light by council to enter into an agreement to purchase the property where the former Mid Valley Hospital sits. Payone tells me the borough is thankful to be able to retain the building and transform it rather than destroy it. It's iconic in our town. Uh, many people have worked there, were born there, have been to the emergency room or doctor's visits or x-rays. So we're just thrilled to be able to keep that building and location together as much as we possibly can. Mid Valley Hospital was created in 1908 through community fundraising to create a hospital that would serve areas between Scranton and Carbondale. The Mid Valley Hospital was in operation until 2012 when Commonwealth Health took over the property, turning it into an outpatient facility. According to Payone, the urgent care was shut down around a year ago and the doctor's offices that remained on the first floor have moved to other locations, leaving the building vacant. We're hoping that this Added traffic will help with uh, community development, small businesses, uh, restaurants, coffee shops, everything would just have extra foot traffic. Payone says the borough also hopes to feature a civic and senior center inside of the community center. Andy Karabski, the pastor of Sacred Heart of Jesus Church and a resident of the borough, says that with the senior population growing, a community center in the area will be well used and anticipated. We have our share of, of seniors as well, so I'm sure a community center would be able to be something that would be intergenerational, uh, that would help uh, people both older and younger. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be a tremendous asset. The borough will be reviewing that agreement with the property owners and hope to have it signed within the next few days. Reporting live, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, First to 10.